Wait, oh. keep up, Graham. Oh, oh, stop it! When the dog is a problem. <laughs> ah! No, no, Bailey, get down. Sorry, I'm so so sorry. One man can solve it. Well, this has really hacked your neighbours off. Get down. He does love to hump Nanny. Frank. Ah. Uh, no. He fixes our furry friends. Oh, now he's off to the bird. She knocks me flying, I bang my head. <laughs> Let's go. And their owners. I mean, the good news is I've got no problem at all with your dog. I'm going to have a problem with you. So we're not walking the dog, we're walking me? Yes. <laughs> By any means necessary. I was a little bit shocked, really, Graham's yes. techniques actually worked. Do you mind? We finally met. Ah! Yes! Go on, then. Graham is... To be honest, he's our saviour. This week, <laughs> a gang of schnauzers looking to today. making their owners the nightmare next door. <laughs> it's not going to endear the neighbours to like you. Ruby! This is silly. A reluctant retriever. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Putting her whole family in danger. Ruby out of the road. I'm frightened that she's going to get hit, or both of us are going to get hit. And a coffee shop mascot. I'll go out. Scaring off the regulars. We won't have any customers. <laughs> Picturesque Cumbria is the backdrop for Graham's first stop. Uncle Graham's come here. Are you excited? Where couple Colin and Rachel have relocated with their three dogs... Oh, boy. ..for a peaceful new life. But... Hello. You all right? Their gang of schnauzers is making that impossible. Blimey. Oh, this is terrible, isn't it? This must really hack your neighbours off. I'm sure it does. Wow. A quiet walk down the street... I know, there's a dog. ..as the bully boys seeing off the locals. <laughs> and a trip into town... Sorry, sorry. ..is disturbing the peace. It's horrific. I feel agitated, I feel anxious, my heart's pounding. I feel like I'm crying. Do you know what I mean? It's just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. This pack of three's constant outbursts leave the couple feeling like social outcasts. Everyone stares and looks at you. It's completely embarrassing. <laughs> Rachel and Colin move to a new town for a fresh start after a tough period in their lives. We really wanted children and it wasn't happening for us. I just really wanted something to nurture, so we got Oliver. Good boy. What a good boy. A year later, things were quite hard again, and we just thought it'd be really nice to get a brother for Oliver. So we got Alvin. Oh. <laughs> Ultimately, we were told that, you know, that's it, we can't have kids. We were like, right, let's get another schnauzer. So they got Henry, but it soon became clear they had a problem child. <laughs> Henry's just a wild card. He's not anxious, he just likes barking at everything all the time. This 15-month-old fire starter sparks off his older brothers. Be quiet! With all three causing trouble in the neighbourhood. This is absolutely unbearable. It's just horrendous. Rachel and Colin are becoming well-known for all the wrong reasons. Are you looking forward to today? Are you looking forward to your birthday today? Nobody can stop and talk. We're trying to make friends, and that's impossible. All the couple wanted was a new beginning for their furry family. Sorry about my dog, sorry. Instead, they're fast becoming nightmare neighbours from hell. If we could get this resolved, it's not just our quality of life that would massively improve, it's the dog's quality of life as well. You know, it's all of us. Can Graham tame these bad boys? So, now we can hear ourselves think. Who's who? Who's this, then? That's Oliver. He's our good boy. Hello, Oliver. He's the eldest. Right. 
This is Alvin over here. He's Alvin. a good boy, but we think he's got anxiety. Oh, I see. Yeah. OK. And who's this? That's Henry. He's the younger. He's the biggest issue. Oh, is he? Mm. Ah, you're the problem, eh? He's like, no, 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 don't listen to them. They're lying. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's a new estate you live on. It's lovely here. Have you not long moved in? About a year ago, we moved on to here, yeah. Right. So what prompted the move, then? And just trying to start again and improve our lives, to be honest. Yeah. Fresh job for me. Yeah, fresh start, new house. That's going to be life for us from here on in. And it's kind of gone wrong, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's just really, really isolating just being here and not knowing people and not being able to make friends. That is a big effect. Right. What are they like outside on a walk? They pull in all kinds of directions. The noise is unbelievable. What, worse than I experienced out there? Yeah. Good God. OK, let's get them ready. We'll get them togged up and go for a walk, shall we? Yep, yeah. perfect. To help him devise a plan, Graham needs to see the boys out in the neighbourhood. Very good. With nothing to target, it's like butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> That's it. Until... <laughs> So that's Oliver. He's doing nothing. Nothing. So these two. That was a bit of a furry blur at one point. And now they've seen another dog, so they're starting again. <laughs> I was hoping I might have one dog who was the instigator and two sort of followed on. Fix one dog and I'm here, I'm sorted. No, actually, I've got two dogs who are a problem. Now Graham suss the doggy dynamics, how do the couple react when the boys kick off? For Colin, it's simple. Well, he's off. Yeah, he's Right, OK. He's fast. He is, and I can't keep up with him. No, I don't think I could either. <laughs> I see. So, if in doubt, run like the clappers. Yes, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, it saves a lot of embarrassment and, and noise. Rachel, on the other hand, has a different approach. <laughs> no, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. That's it. Oh, right. God, blimey. That was a battle, wasn't it? I am trying to be as stern as possible. They're not bothered, they're not listening, it's exasperating, and I'm just thinking, oh, what are people thinking of me? There's no doubt that this is stressful. They are so reactive to pretty much anything, and their bark is incredibly loud. So this isn't an easy thing to fix, that's for sure. Coming up, can Graham stop a crazed coffee shop chalky chasing away the customers? Go, go, come here. Hide behind that tray. Motivate oh, a stubborn on. retriever. Ruby thinks she's disappeared. Come on, let's find her. And get this gang of schnauzers back on the straight and narrow. If we're not careful, we'll go back to square one. Master dog trainer Graham Hall's in Cumbria, Hello. where Colin and Rachel's schnauzers are terrorising the neighbourhood. And wrecking their chances of a fresh start. Oh, this is terrible! Isn't it? But Graham thinks he knows what's setting them off. So we've got Oliver. Well, he's no problem at all, bless him. We've got too big a fish to fry. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin. I think Alvin is anxious. He's a bit on edge from the moment he goes out. Yeah. Yep. So the big surprise I think here is you thought you had one nervy dog. Right. I think you've got two. Really? I think Henry is as well. Wow. And I think it's for a different reason. Oh. He's reacting just the same when he sees a dog. Right. So why is he doing that then? Henry came along into a family where Alvin was giving it, this is what we do. So Henry grew up going, oh, that's how it works then. So I don't think he was born to be nervous. Absolutely, yeah. They learn from other dogs, but they also learn from people's reaction. Yeah. And here's the kind of killer point, which is the more anxious they get... The more anxious I get. And then the more anxious you get... The more anxious they get. And we're all going down and down and down. Vicious circle, yeah. So we've got to turn it round. And I think we start with Henry first. Wonderful. The problem with anxiety is it's contagious. So we need to take the stress out of it, take all the pressure off both the humans and the dogs. To help reform Henry, Graham's got a couple of volunteers. 
I'm gonna have the lady in front of us so she's always in sight as we're walking along. And then I can make it a little bit harder by getting nearer. Now, if he's a good boy, we get the opportunity to praise him and let him know that this is the behavior that we want. If he does start to lunge and bag, pretty simple really. It's like, no, unwanted behavior versus yes, good behavior. By giving Henry clear signals. Right. Graham's hoping he'll learn right from wrong. Come on, then. come on. And as soon as he spots the other dog, uh, uh, no. Graham interrupts the behaviour. Hey, no. No. So every time he's getting ahead of himself, I'm like, no. Oi. In other words, you're with me, I'm not following you. Yeah. So we're a team, me and you, but. Oi. No. By keeping calm. I'm not bothered about the lady and the dog. Henry is too. Good boy. Which earns him lots of praise. Good lad. Look at Henry. Fantastic. It's unbelievable, isn't it? He's really close. And now he's learning that. No, no, mate. We've got to be nice and calm. That's good manners. Good boy. Good. Henry's proved he can be a good boy for Graham. Come on, best foot forward. Look the part. Off we go. Come on. But can he keep calm for Colin and stop him doing a runner? Boy. That's good. Yeah, slow down. Slow down. You're in charge, not him. No. Ah, listen to your no. voice, though. <laughs> That's it. No. Good boy. Good boy. No. No. Better. Good boy. And look at the effect that had. Good boy. There you go, you've nailed it, haven't you? It's a new Henry and Colin. Told you you could do it. It's helped my confidence a lot. So it's absolutely fantastic. Fair play, mate. I think you've done really well there. Huh? Colin may have stepped up to the mark, but can Rachel? Off we go. Come on. Don't let him pull you. Sit. Good. Good boy. There you go. I think you could get a little bit nearer. Come on, son. That's it. Just slow down a bit. <laughs> when Henry reacts... No. Rachel's got it covered. <laughs> no. Well done. Good I wouldn't boy. mess with you. Good boy. Brilliant. Very nice. I think we've done enough. We've seen quite a bit of progression, haven't we? Yeah. It's not lost on me, of course, that we've still got Alvin, and I think he's quite nervous. But sometimes you get one dog behaving well and it kind of rubs off on the other, and, and, and surprisingly good things can happen. So let's get Alvin out and see what happens. If Henry can't keep his cool when his brother rocks up, it could spell disaster. No. 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 We're not careful, we'll go back to square one. No. No. Tell you what. No. No. Let's put the dogs back away and we'll have a we'll have a chat. Come on. This is not the result Graham was hoping for. But you know, sometimes you change one dog and the other one goes, oh, OK, then, fair enough, you know. So I'm going to have to come back another time. OK. But next time, focus on Alvin, and then we've got to get the dogs together. Right. So we've still got quite a bit to do. If Colin and Rachel are ever to make friends in the community, Graham will need to work out how to let this gang out without all hell breaking loose. Whilst there on remand, he's heading 400 miles south to West Sussex, where a stubborn golden retriever... Come on, Ruby. ..is making life a misery for her downtrodden owners. On you go, out the road. Out the road. Ruby, come on. Go. Ruby. Michelle and Gary Griffiths spend all day doting on Ruby. Come on, Ruby. For starters, she has a phobia... You're safe. ..of walking on hard come floors. On. Come on, then, Ruby. Let's go. Good girl. The eight-year-old's hang-up has turned her into a couch potato. I don't think she'll get off the chair. Are you going to come off? Come with me. Going to get down, Ruby. Only one thing will do it. I'm going to have to put the rug down. She won't get off without the rug. Come on, then. Ruby, this way. Where are you going? It's crazy. Yeah. 
That's it. Come on then, let's go. Come on, Ruby. Come on, you go. It's bad enough indoors, but outdoors, Walkies. nothing will shift the reticent retriever. Ruby, come on, come on. Nice walkie. You know it's going to be the same every walk. Here we go again. Come on, up let's we go. go. Let's go. We pick her up. We pull her. We do everything we can, push yeah. her. It's like pushing a car with four flat tyres. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> the couple have tried every trick in the book. We tell her there's cats, make the walk sound as if it's exciting. Come on, come on, let's do that, let's do it. Come on, come Beep. on. It's probably taken us five, six, seven minutes to go 150, 200 feet. There's nothing they won't do. Go out of sight, hide behind that tree. No matter how absurd. Ruby thinks she's disappeared. She then goes looking for her. Come on, where's she gone to? Come on, let's find her. It's embarrassing it's, and it's weird. It's ridiculous. Let's go and find her. Come on. This doesn't seem to be working. She knows I'm here. Where's Moz? Come on. It's clear who's calling the shots in the Griffiths household. We indulge her with the rugs. We indulge her with going on the walks that she wants to go on. We bend over backwards for her. It's her way or no way. Let's go. It's no Stop. life for Michelle and Gary. Or Ruby. Ruby. She's gradually killing herself. If she carries on putting on weight and not exercising, I just can't see her living a long life. I don't think I can stand it. She's like our fur baby, isn't she? She's everything to us. Golden Retrievers were originally uh, bred to go and pick up uh, waterfowl and bring them back, uh, hence the name Retriever. Very biddable, pretty good to train, so I don't normally see that many problems with them. Is Ruby being stubborn? Is she scared? They're kind of opposites, aren't they? Hello, Graham. Gary, is it? Yeah, yeah. come in. Can Graham get Ruby to change her ways? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, Ruby. Hello, you're nice. So, tell me about your problems. She doesn't like walking on the hard floor. She would rather walk all around the furniture than get down onto the flooring. That's where she'll stay for right. hours. That's your chair, really, isn't it? Yeah. But she hogs it. <laughs> <laughs> Whose chair is it? Hers. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. So what do you do? We've had to resort to getting a rug. Did you have carpet before then? We did yeah. have carpet, didn't we? And you're having to put, basically, rugs down to yeah. get the dogs yeah, to move. backwards in a way. Gone backwards. Yeah. My first impression when I saw Ruby was, how old is this dog? And my first guess was, well, she's probably about 11 or 12. She's really old, but she's not. She's eight years old. She just looks quite a bit older. Bless her. Graham wants to see how Michelle and Gary get Ruby off the sofa. With any luck with this, it'll encourage her down because yeah. she finds, like, a safe space. Blimey, so you've got to get that out every time. Yeah. Oh, now we're on. Come on, then. Bless her. Hello. That's it. Come Good on, girl. then. Good girl. Come on, then. Can you come this way? OK. Normally here, she goes backwards. Right. Once she can feel it... Yeah. That's it. She's going to sit, sit now. sit down. Yeah. She's yeah. happy to lay there. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You're all right, aren't you? You're oh. all right. Michelle thinks she's reassuring Ruby when Ruby gets back on the sofa. She's not. By definition, that means hard surface scary. What affects that having on your day to day? It's very frustrating. And once you've got her out of the house, she's a nightmare. She just sits down and that's it. She's not going anywhere. There's no substitute for seeing it. Can we go out for a walk? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ruby? Graham believes Ruby is genuinely scared indoors. Go walkies, Ruby. Now he wants to see if fear is stalling her walks outdoors or if there's more to it. Ruby, no, so when you sit in down. Come on. Ruby. Ruby, what are you up? What's that command? Botty up. Botty up. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you've seen it all. <laughs> Come on, Ruby. Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Botty up. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. This is one of the places she likes to cross. Let's cross. This is where she likes to cross. Yes, where she not likes us. to cross. It's her. Very good. Carry on. <laughs> it's all on Ruby's terms. In other words, she ain't nervous outside. She's been a bit of a madam. Time to show Graham their favourite trick. Come on in, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Come on. Yeah. Michelle will go off and hide. Oh, it's a game. And then, then she'll try and find her. Ruby. Right. But it's, it's quite embarrassing. Let's come find her. Come on. Ruby, let's come find her. Where's Moz? Come on. Where is she? Let's see if we can find her. Where is she? Hello. Good girl. Let's go walkies. Is she go? 
Oh, Ruby. Bay. When Ruby's walking outside, there's an overall theme, and that is that she basically dictates, well, everything. Gary and Michelle are just not in control of that walk at all. No, Ruby, Christian's Ruby, way. Come on. Ruby. Let's go. Ruby. Come on. Sorry. Ruby. Ruby, come on. Ruby. Come on, Ruby, come on. Ruby, come on. Up. There you go. Come on. Thank you. Come on. This is a busy road. Are you afraid it's going to cause an accident one day? Yet, yeah, if I've not got out of the way in sure. time, I'm frightened that she's going to get hit, or both of us are going to get hit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. There's elements of this that are funny. There's elements of this that are embarrassing, dangerous. But it's no good for Michelle and Gary, and it's certainly no good for Ruby. Frankly, it's no life for any of them. Coming up, Hello. Graham meets a chalky that's frightening off customers. Did you get us a guard dog? <laughs> Come on. She wants to go that way. Mm. Yeah. It's tough love with Ruby. I think we go this way. Yeah. Because we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Graham still has a monster job on his hands. Henry's kicking off a bit. Stopping this trio of terrors from wreaking havoc. No. <laughs> Master dog trainer Graham Hall's in West Sussex with the Griffiths. Come on then. Can you come this way? Whose eight-year-old reluctant retriever hates hard floors. You're all right. Man. And going on walks. Sorry. Ruby! Ruby, come on. Ruby. A major concern for Graham. My first reaction when I walked in is like, blimey, how old is this dog? Is she 12, 13? Yeah, yeah. People say that. Yeah. yeah. She's aging before her time because she's yeah. not getting the exercise. Mm. You know? yeah. I can see how that's come about, but unless something changes, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, she's, she's on route to an early death. Yeah, that's our uh, main and concern. And we don't want yeah. that. We've got two separate problems going on. So in the house, she's looking at the the hard floor in Blessman, and just going, you know, what can I do? Mm. And I think she's got on your hard floor in. At some point, I'm guessing her legs have gone a bit like Bambi. She's gone, oh, oh, and she ain't got the strength to go, I'll just sort myself out. It's just like, this floor is scary. Yeah. I don't like this floor. And you went, it's all right, good girl, it's all right, go on. Yeah. Inadvertently, what's happening is you're rewarding the, the wrong bit. I can see what you're saying, but it's hard, yeah. isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Outside, it's like, we're crossing here, her choice. Yeah. I'm going to sit down here and pause for a bit. Her choice. So all the time, she's like this diva. Yeah, yeah she so controls. That's the problem, and we need to turn it around. A lot of this boils down to leadership. We've got a dog who's quite nervy inside, but outside she's been a little bossy madam, really. So I want her to be working with me. Kind of, we're a team, me and her, but somebody leads this team, and I think that's easy to start inside than out. Graham wants to show Ruby there's no need to fear the floor. Good girl. And to help, some Griffiths-inspired props. Well, I've laid out these furry stepping stones. If we can get her to walk across those, we're getting into the habit of can walk across this room. And then we can start to space them out a bit, maybe take one or two out of the way, and let's see if we can get her doing it, right? So I've popped the lead on so we can do this as a team, me and her. Come on, then. Good girl, there you go. Way to go. Ruby's already trusting Graham. So as soon as she's moving, uh, uh, no, backwards isn't an option. Good girl. Just a little bit of tension. Good girl, who's a clever girl? Now Graham wants Michelle and Gary to join the Stepping Stones game. Whoever is facing the dog, it's your job to praise when she's making movement. Come on in. The key is lots of praise at the right time. Good girl, that's super. You can do this. There you go. Come on, Ruby. Go on, you give her a little fuss. There you are. Come on then. Come on. Right. Okay. Good girl, Ruby. Good girl. Yay, well there you good go. Girl. There you go. Well, she comes here. Good you are. Good girl. Yes. You now can Ruby's got the gist of it. Come on, see me. The see mats me. can be gradually removed. Let's take up the end mat. So she's got to make a bit of a leap of faith to get to you next time. That's two down. Come on. Good girl. That's it. Come on. Let's go see your dad then. Come keep on. Going, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Super. Four down. Hey, where's mummy? Ruby. Good girl. Well, she walked yeah. straight past that one. She's like, I'll show you. Good girl. I don't need your stepping Good girl. stones. And finally, the moment of truth. The real test is to go it alone. Come on, Ruby. Come on in. Come see me. Come on in. Good 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. She's made it to Mum. There's a good girl. There you go. Can she make it back to Dad? There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Ruby, come on. Good girl. Come on. All the way. Ruby. Ruby, come and see me. And with a bit of egging on. Come on. Ruby, that's it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Boom. Good girl. How about that? Good girl. She faces her fear. Ruby's learnt that the floor actually isn't that scary after all, that you can do it, you've got to be careful. Well done, Ruby. She's a bit of a trooper, really. Come on, then. Let's go. Now that Ruby's walking confidently inside, can Graham turn things around outside, where the doggy diva's been dictating the pace? Come on, then. To do this, Graham's taking a firm hand. Are we making it non-negotiable now? Yeah. yeah. If you stop, no, that ain't going to work. <laughs> so I'm not going to be horrible and nasty, but I'm not for turning. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, come on. And it's for her good, ultimately. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And ours. Yeah, and yours. <laughs> come on, young lady, let's go then. I'm sensing she wants to go that way. Mm. Yeah. We could. I think we go this way. Yeah. Because we can. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, off you go. But when Graham changes the route, Ruby oh. digs her heels in. Uh, no. No. Good! There you go! Clever girl. No, come on. Stubborn uh, Ruby is finally learning that walking can be fun. She's actually going quite quickly now, look. Yes, yes. yes. Good girl, this is super. I didn't want to do it, but in truth, yeah. I quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> After Graham's controlled the diva in Ruby... Right. There you go. Thank you. Can Michelle keep up the good work? Ruby, let's go walkies. Come on. Ruby. She needs to be assertive. Ruby, no. And right off the bat, Ruby's testing her. No. No, Ruby, no. But Michelle's no. not being messed no. around. Good girl, good girl, there you go. Good girl, good girl, Ruby. Super, well good done. Good girl. Oh, this is it. That's a good girl. Ruby's listening to Mum. Super, that's now a good that's girl. what you want. Michelle's now the route master. And across here, Ruby? Yeah. yeah. Come on in, good girl. I like that. That's your decision, not yeah. hers. How about Gary? There you go. Go on, Ruby. Let's go. And to his surprise... This feels good. Dad's got it sussed too. That's it. Good. This is good, Graham. Yeah. You've developed this really calm, no-nonsense, but <laughs> we are going that way about you, which is great. What a difference. Yeah. Well done, baby. After just a few hours, the headstrong Ruby Michelle and Gary have battled with is gone. Oh, Let's go. go. Let's go. And go. In her place, an obedient and happy dog. Really proud of her, because she's done a lot in um, such a short amount of time. I'm ever so pleased. Makes me feel a bit emotional. But... Oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah, my. Oh, that's mm. nice. Mm. It's been hard work with her, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Just want her to have a good life. We do. Yeah, and I'm really pleased. This is the kind of training that has a really big impact on people's lives and, well, in this case, on Ruby's life. She was on her way to an early grave. That fear has gone away really now. It is a win-win for everybody. With harmony restored in West Sussex, Graham's moving on to the tranquil outskirts of Cambridge. Oh, I need tomatoes, Mike. Where a family's dream of running a dog-free coffee shop is under threat oh, mate, right. from their own pooch. We'll go out. The crazed chalky Coco Bean. Black what, please? No, babe, no! Always like that with Coco. She just doesn't like people or other dogs. A disaster for a dog-friendly cafe. There you go, I'm so Thank sorry. You. you can have that free. <laughs> Steph and Michael Griggs bought the old village post office after a life-changing event. I worked as a physiotherapist in the NHS, and I was quite happy doing that. I loved my job. And then I got ill, I got breast cancer, and, um... It's almost like a tipping point, wasn't it? Yeah. And then this came up and I thought, well, I want to own a coffee shop, I always have. Yeah. Let's give it a go. The Griggs opened their doors three years ago. Morning, Darren. 
How are you? The icing on the cake was a doggy mascot. <laughs> but Coco's no sweetie. <laughs> the dream always was to have a small coffee shop with a small dog <laughs> in a lovely, tight-knit community. And we have two of those things. <laughs> She does that all the time. I'm so sorry. She is a little Napoleon. I think that's half the problem. She's got little dog syndrome. Ah! 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 It's uh, quite scary when a dog does that to you. Very noisy little dog. Can I get you anything else? Uh, volume? <laughs> OK, no. She will bark at them until they leave. <laughs> We took her to doggy daycare um, to try and socialise her, but she's too disruptive. She got kicked out. No, come back. <laughs> you can't do that to our customers. We won't have any customers. The dog can't be here and can't be at doggy daycare, and we don't like leaving no one no. around. We need to get that sorted. There's only one man who can help if he can get past the pint sized bouncer. Morning, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, Mr. Steph. I'm Steph, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. And that's Coco. This is Coco. I don't really need to ask you what the problem is, do I? Did you get us a guard dog? No. To stop people from coming in? No, she's meant to be a friendly pooch to welcome the customers, but it just didn't work out like that. Come on, come see Mummy. Come on, turn it on. She loves her mummy. She's quiet now. Yeah, she's quiet now. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh, he's away again. Coco, you need to understand that it's not intruder, it's customer, they're bringing money. Yes. <laughs> you're not good for business. No, you're not, are you? Mm. Blimey. Any chance of a coffee? Sure. I'll grab a pew and I can watch what goes on, eh? OK, cool. I never cease to be amazed by how loud a small dog can be. If I could make a noise that was in proportion to my size like that, you'd hear me from London. Graham's got a helper. Can I get a tea, please? Sure. To see Coco in action. And it's business as usual. Thank you. Coco, Wayne, come here. You OK? You OK? She's quiet, isn't she, when you pick her up? Yeah, it's her safe, happy place. Right. And mine too, I guess. Yeah, I'm picking up on that, yeah. You can't wait to pick her up. No, I know. It? it breaks my heart when I hear her barking like that, so I just need to. Just to give her some love, don't I? Yeah, naughty knickers. It's a big problem. Dog lovers want to say hello, that makes her back, and everybody in the coffee shop's deafened. Um, if you're not a dog lover, it's scary. You don't want to be nipped. So um, it, it's all in all, it's, it's not good for business. Graham knows one undeniable fact is not helping. You didn't exactly pick the ideal breed for a quiet coffee shop dog, did no, you? I thought I had. She's small, I'll grant you that. She fits. But that's about the end of yeah. it, really, because he's like half Chihuahua, famously barky, half Yorkshire Terrier, like most Yorkshiremen, they've got a lot to say. Put the two together and you've got a barky dog. Yeah. Plus she's like, get out of my territory, go away, right? Because yeah. a lot of your business is just people popping in the door. She barks for the two minutes it takes to make a coffee, yeah. right? They then go away. She goes... <laughs> <laughs> of course, it yeah. It works. And then she's barking and barking, and then Mum goes, oh, I love you. <laughs> right, and she goes, so I've got rid of the invaders, which felt good, right? And then Mummy picked me up and thanked me for barking at them. Right. Pretty simple. I see. So graham has got a novel idea that he believes will easily break this cycle. I've installed a doggy creche. She's got her area there, she's in with the customers, but she can't get to them, so that's going to give people a bit of reassurance straight away. Right. But it also means that we can put a bit of training in. I want to get a couple of messages across to her, which is barking, no, not allowed. Quiet, yes, mummy loves mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Without realising it, what you were doing before was bark, mummy loves you. Yeah. Now it's going to be, no, if you're quiet, I'll bring the love to you. OK. Yeah. And with Coco safely in her playpen, for her first lesson, Graham's improvising. Hello. Hi. I am a customer. I have come to buy coffee. OK, let me get you some coffee. Thank you very much. So she's barking, so tell her quiet. 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 That's it. Great. 
now you can praise her. With a firm command... Good girl. ..and praise at the right time... Nice and calm, Good girl. If you walk away, look. Coco's getting it. I can't believe that. <laughs> I just can't believe it. This is amazing. Yeah. But will it work with a real-life customer? Hello. Hi, Chris. Can I have my usual? I'll do that. No problem. Mm. Miraculously, even with all the din, Coco is keeping stum. So she gets lots of well-deserved praise. There you go. Enjoy. Can you believe that? Wow. She's sitting there quiet as a mouse. I'm really pleased. This is good. I didn't think we'd get this fast so, so quickly. Yeah. I'm absolutely over the moon. I haven't held her for about two hours and she's fine. Funny that. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just this morning, the Griggs family had a little chalky scaring off customers. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome, Thea. But now... Coco Bean. Good girl. The family have a welcoming mascot. Oh, can I have a flat white to take away, please? Yeah, sure. Completing their dog-friendly coffee shop. It's a, it's a big tick for Graham. She's amazing. Can I have my dog back, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, from dream to nightmare, where are we at now? Back to the dream. The dream is real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You're very welcome. This is going to have a huge impact on everybody's life, um, not least of which is Coco. And the effect on the family business is going to be huge too. Not even yeah. crying anymore. We got this little dog. Oh. <laughs> there's no dog that's putting people off anymore. In fact, there's a dog who's a mascot, which was always the dream, you know? So um, it's happy days all around, really. It may have been a quick fix in Cambridgeshire, <laughs> but Graham has a much tougher job back in Cumbria, getting a gang of schnauzers to stop being nightmare neighbours. Hey, Before he signs off for the week, master dog trainer Graham Hall's back in Cumbria for his final challenge. <laughs> Today. Getting a gang of schnauzers on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Last time, Graham got the rowdiest troublemaker, Henry, to quieten down. Good boy. But when his brother Alvin showed up, no. all hell broke loose. So he needs to work on Alvin to stop all three troublemakers from reoffending, so that Colin and Rachel can have the fresh start they deserve. <laughs> This new start in life, this move to a new house, meet new people, well, it's all on hold. If we literally can't talk to the neighbours over the din that the dogs are making, it's all gone horribly wrong for them. Graham believes Rachel's the key to fixing nervous Alvin's reactive behaviour. You all right? Yeah, yeah, you. So they're joining him alone at a local park. The thing I'm most concerned about today is this kind of interdependency thing between you and Alvin. He gets worse, you get worse, and we're all going down in a spiral. Yeah. I think a lot of this is based on posture. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that! <laughs> <laughs> so, a good place to start might be, yeah, change the way you look. So we're not walking the dog, we're walking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, head up, good posture, shoulders back, you know. OK. I'm in charge. Nothing can happen. We're going to call that Queen of Cumbria, <laughs> okay. right? Now, if he starts to react badly, don't lose that. That I, is so um... not me. That's going to be difficult. Yeah. Well, you got to pretend, right? OK. To prove it's all about confidence, Graham wants to demonstrate. Shall we? <laughs> Good. So, you see, even though I'm looking at him, as I set off, I did that. You know? Yeah. Good boy. So instead of him going, come on, move, move, I'm like, oi, where are you going? I'm in charge of the radius. Good boy. Alvin is learning fast. Hey, hey, come here. So we're, what, two metres away from this dog now? Yeah, which is fantastic. But when he reacts badly... <coughs> hey. Graham reassuringly steps in. No. And Alvin calms right down. Good boy. So, you've seen what he's capable of. I have. He's calm, you're calm, nobody's anxious. Let's try and keep it that way, yes. shall we? 
And if it does start to go wrong, don't collapse. <sighs> Move on. Ready for it? I am indeed. Very good. The Queen of Cumbria starts by holding herself well. I'm looking at Rachel's body language and she's like, plonk, plonk, plonk. It's a walk in the park, you know? Alvin's like, yeah, yeah, fine. I can act this. This is all right. And off he goes. But can she keep both their anxieties under control? No. Well done. Good. Good boy. Perfect. Perfect timing and perfect tone. He took control of that effortlessly. It was just no, and he went, yeah. I think he's learning. I think you are too. Really good. Good boy. Good. Will things be quite so perfect when Alvin's brothers join the party? That looks better. Yeah. Can Colin hold it together too? Off you go. <laughs> no. That's it. No. 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 Henry's kicking off a bit. No. Keep moving. No. no. Queen of Cumbria, remember? No. So the surprise is Alvin has been really good. But no. Colin's struggling a bit with Henry. No. No. Right. No. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, he's corrected him. That's it. Right. No. Good boy. Colin's got it under control. Good boy. Good boy. It's blooming amazing, that is. Rachel and Colin walking all three dogs within about two metres of another dog. And it's all nice and calm, and it is literally a walk in the park. I never thought we'd have the opportunity to go past the dog with all three without any shouting, screaming. Good boy. It's great to see. Super. Just a few days ago, Colin and Rachel were stressed out fur parents <laughs> whose pups were disturbing the peace. <laughs> but now, with their calm band of brothers, they can finally make friends. I like the little one in the middle. That's Alvin. And embark on that fresh start they so deserve. It is really quite something. Transformation is unbelievable. Yeah. And I'm just really grateful that you came. You're very welcome. Yeah. I'm really pleased I came as well because you really deserve a good break. I'm going to go now before I get too emotional. <laughs> <laughs> In West Sussex, it's a younger and slimmer Ruby. He's back to three walks a day. Yeah, big improvement. Yeah, thanks, Good Graham. Time. Near Cambridge, Coco's enjoying life as the coffee shop mascot. She's in the shop, quiet, and we're very happy. Thank you very much. Good boys, you just stay there. And in Cumbria... Oliver's continued to be an absolute little angel. Alvin here, he's done really well, bless him. And Henry's keeping up with his training, despite an altercation with a cat that set him back. We continue to do the techniques every day. If you think your badly behaved dog could do with Graham's help, then why not get in touch? Details can be found at www.channel5.com forward slash get involved. Mm -hmm.